Okay, all right, so it's 11.30, so we'll get started on the next session. Um, let's see, Hossein is the speaker, right? Hossein, are you here? Yes, yes, I'm here. Yes, all right. Okay, so our first speaker is Hossein Fitalibi. He's a visiting researcher at KTH Royal Institute of Technology, um, and also completing his PhD at Shahid Beheshti University in Iran. Um, so Hossein will be giving a talk today on Maslova caches and near main memory processing. All right, so Hossein, um, I think you should be able to share your screen and you could start when you're ready. Yes, sure. Uh, thank you for introducing Professor Bond. And okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Hossein Vitalabi. A visiting researcher from the KTH, and also I'm working to complete my uh, PhD thesis in Shahid PhD University of Iran. Many thanks to organizer and committee of this workshop, and also I'm so proud for attending to this event. Um, in this presentation, uh, I will to uh, present the two aspects of the near data processing in GPUs, near LLC processing and the near memory processing. Uh, we name these uh, studies as a near LLC versus near main memory processing. These uh, studies done uh, by collaborating of my colleague Vaidigar Nejad and my supervisor Masum Ibrahimi. Uh, at the first, I briefly introduced the GPU architecture, and then I should mention to the motivation of uh, doing this study. After that, uh, I will represent the uh, independent part of the near data processing, and after that, uh, I focus on characterizing application which are which are proper for performing on the near main memory processing, and which of the proper for performing in near LLC processing. And after that, I will express, uh, express the methodology and an evaluation session of our studies. Uh, as a quick uh, summary, I should, uh, each GPU has its several independent processing cores and each processing course has its uh, private uh, L1 cache. And if, if uh, L1 cache was not able to respond to the memory uh, request of the uh, instruction. The request will send to the lower level of the memory hierarchy by interconnection network. If LLC uh, in this uh, architecture, if LLC was able to respond to the request, will it back to the corresponding SM or processing core. If not, uh, the main memory should be respond to that. Uh, as we know, main uh, as we know, memory request and data movement as a uh, as is known as a must and significant and effective challenges uh, in each processing system, especially for GPUs. As you can see from the figure. Uh, um, the most challenging part and vulnerable vulnerable part of the uh, memory access is uh, in, in GPUs is uh, cache access. Uh, based on the uh, evaluation on through the utilized benchmarking studies, we reported 85% uh, L1 miss access, L1 miss access, and for LLC access, uh, we should, we reported near to 50. 50% average for LLC miss access. This is this show a huge rate of the miss access for various level of the cache. And as a second of the observation observation of the uh, these studies, we uh, observe uh, that uh, L1 miss uh, is a high, uh, while the LLC miss rate is so low in such application that uh, motivate us to focus more on that uh, near LLC processing because in case of the L1 miss high and LLC miss rate, uh, most uh, memory requests are responded by the LLC. For a, a benchmark such as a CP and histogram, this event happens. Uh, but uh, based on this observation, we decided to apply char character characterizing the various applications and uh, and to determine which 
type of near data parasitic is more suitable for this type. Uh, before characterizing the application, I uh, briefly described that the two various types of the near data processing, which of them is near main memory processing, where uh, offloadable instruction directly offload to the processing core, which are put in the logic layer of the main memory. Uh, as you can see from the left figure, um, and it is necessary, I mentioned that most of the recent study are focused, are focused on this type of near uh, data processing as a uh, NMP. We, in the rest of the presentation, I, should I will mention to this type of the near data processing as a NMP. And as you can see from the right uh, image, uh, second part of the near data processing, we mentioned to them near LLC processing or NLP, that processing core are, are placed near the data bank of the LLC. And unfortunately, despite the, uh, despite the um, significant effect of this uh, type of near data processing, uh, lower, uh, lower focus on is on it. Uh, we find three, uh, we find three aspects which uh, motivate the near NLP over the NMP that uh, I can. Um, in tourism as blowing a uh, lower distance that means the low that means the distance of the main processing core the rather than the llc is lower than the main memory and if we put the llc near the uh, near uh, if we put the processing core near the llc the offloaded instruction to pass the lower distance to uh, touch this offloaded instruction uh, as other uh, as the other part, uh, I should mention if we uh, performing a near uh, LLC processing as an NLP, we will eliminate repetitive access to the main memory uh, by reusing the data or uh, put it into LLC. And as a last but not least, I should mention to the faster service time of the LLC uh, in most processing systems. For characterizing the application, as you can see the table, we characterize the application in five uh, independent parts. Um, we observe that various applications may lead to different cache access patterns among the various cache levels. That means, uh, for example, in class of one and, and class of one and class of four, uh, application have a low rate of the miss access L, has a low rate of the L1 miss access. That means these applications are not so memory memory intensive and uh, cache uh, are not so memory intensive and they are suitable for normal processing as a conventional processing. The, there isn't any bottleneck for memory access and the, the, the most significant bottleneck for for performance. Uh, is the inherent situation of public fabrication and other things. So in such uh, in such type of application, data access is not bottleneck. Um, in class two, uh, we can see the application which are put by high L1 miss and, uh, and also high LLC miss access. These type of application are more suitable for running as an NMP, uh, near main memory processing, because none of uh, uh, cache level are not suitable for responding to the memory request. Uh, as a second class, I should mention to the uh, I should mention to the application which have a high rate of the L1 miss access and also have and uh, have a low rate of the LLC uh, miss access. This type of in in such application, LLC have a huge role for responding to all of the main memory uh, all of the memory access or memory requests of the application so uh, this class is target of the nlp uh, because uh, we if we put some process core to uh, perform the offloading instruction near the LC can be so useful for for using can be so useful for bypassing the data movement by performing the NLP. The applications such as SCP, Instagram, and SR uh, are put in this group. And as, a, uh, and as a last class, I should mention to class of five that have a moderate rate of the L1 misaccess and LLC misaccess. In, in this type of, of application, they are reasonable both for NM NMP 
uh, performing an NLP execution. To have a fair converse, to have a fair evaluation and uh, comparison, uh, we use uh, we implemented uh, we implemented each three part of the configuration as a baseline NLP and NMP. Uh, we modified the GPGPU Steam version three uh, for implementing our target. Uh, each configuration has the same processing core to uh, implementing the fair comparison. For example. Um, for baseline architecture and conventional GPU, we consider the 55, uh, uh, 56 processing cores, and also for NMP process for NMP processing, we consider the 48 main cores plus eight near memory memory cores, and for NLP uh, structure, we consider 48 main cores plus a eight near LLC cores. As you can uh, in uh, in the figure. Uh, you can see the basic configuration for our conventional GPU architecture. Um, in the following, I want to uh, express the evaluation of our result and I want to uh, compare our result based on the baseline architecture NMP and NLP. But it is necessary that I mention that both NLP and NMP have a better result over than over the baseline when we implemented them, them, them independently. Uh, and for clarity, uh, <clears throat> I will categorize them. <clears throat> I, will <clears throat> I will categorize them as a uh, application which has a high L application and a moderate L1 application. Uh, application which have a high L1 misapplication uh, and a high LLC misrate, uh, as I mentioned before, are more suitable for NMP. The applications such as KMN, MSD, and MU. And for this type of application, we these, uh, these structure are uh, succeeded to achieve 40% uh, uh, IPC improvement base, uh, over the baseline and 23 percent uh, IPC improvement over the NLP. <clears throat> uh, as, a, as a continue, the application which have a high L1 MIS application, uh, uh, have, a high, uh, have a high L1 MIS uh, access and also have a low LLC MIS access as, a, as I mentioned are more suitable for NLP execution. And the applications such as SCP, HIS are more suitable for such type of application that uh, be uh, that be succeeded to achieve uh, more than uh, around the 40 percent over the baseline improvement and 24 percent over the NMP uh, structures. As a last category, I should mention to them. Uh, I should mention to the. WP and BFS application, which are reasonable, reasonable for processing in both structure NMP and NLP, but uh, really these two type applications succeed to achieve uh, improvement around the 20% over the baseline. <clears throat> Uh, as another metric we use for evaluation, our uh, for our evaluation, the baseline NLP and NLP was a power efficiency, which are which we uh, explained it as instruction per joule. Averagely, uh, both NLP and NLP succeeded to achieve 11% uh, uh, over the uh, baseline. And for a specific uh, description, uh, we used uh, I uh, explained this as a demonstrate as a histogram for class of one, which are more suitable for NLP. Uh, the histogram we are succeeded to achieve 15% 15, uh, 15 over the baseline and 6% over the NMP. And for a representative of the class of two, I should mention two KMN applications, which are uh, which are succeeded to achieve 18% over the baseline and 13% per, over the NLP. And for BFS application, these applications succeeded to achieve uh, around the 9% uh, power consumption uh, improvement over the baseline, both for NLP and NMP. As a future work, I should mention we 
uh, are working to, we are working and considered to uh, also to gather these two type of structure for execution together. For example, uh, if we have a, a structure which have a both NLP and NMP at the same time by a dynamic and a smart decision uh, offloading uh, can be so useful and can be so effective for gaining from the uh, memory access during the various part of the application execution. This, uh, this we considered we consider the dynamic based uh, system offloading uh, uh, instead of the a static complete a static offloading to get a better performance. As a conclusion, I should mention the promising approach and a near data processing is a promising approach to fade memory access data movement bottleneck and uh, both of the near main memory processing and near LH processing are um, efficient in various uh, type of application, but depending on the characterizing the application. But uh, unfortunately, despite significant efficiency, uh, less attention has been paid to NLP structure in related studies. Um, my presentation is finished. Uh, thank you everyone for your attention and I'm here for your question. All right, so if anyone have questions, uh, feel free to unmute yourself and ask, or if you wanna type it in the chat, uh, you could go ahead and do that now. Uh, yes, please let me do you this. So, any questions? <laughs> okay, um, so I'll start it off. So, are there any examples of near less level cache processing units that's already in the market? Uh, in the market, not, but there is any, uh, but there is some related in the, but uh, there is some uh, studies in the, academic area. I mentioned in the in you know, I mentioned them in the reference part of my presentation. Okay. Um, so we have a question in the chat. So I'll just read it out loud. Um, if we have both processing units for last level cache and DRAM, can there be a lot of hardware overheads? Uh, yes, I think this is a trade-off. Uh, this, there is a, some hardware trade-off, but uh, there is a, some they, there is a, some uh, hardware overhead. But we should uh, attention to the rate of the data movement element elimination, and this uh, can be useful if we find and characterizing you helpfully and usefully the application. Okay. So I recall that in one of your slides, you showed that you have 48 main cores and just eight, um, you know, either near memory processors or, or near cache processors, right? So how, for, for the eight near LLC cores, how are they being shared across the, the 48 cores? Is there any sharing mechanism policy in place? Um... In these cases, there is a, there is a, some intercommunication between the various uh, stacking with uh, in the various uh, processing cores and uh, in the LLC level, we consider the um, uh, message passing the similar to the uh, conventional uh, similar to the conventional uh, GPUs. Uh, you can consider uh, independent processing cores are called the memory requests and. Uh, we consider this as a conventional memory request, but in the memory level, uh, we, but in the memory level, uh, there's a, some uh, shared message passing to, for, for communicating be, between the processing cores. And so uh, this is completely uh, organizing based on the, some um, internal communication between the, between the various cores. Okay. Um, and there's a somewhat follow-up questions in the chat. So I wonder if cache coherence could be a problem when using NMP or NLP. Uh, yes, one of the most uh, one of the most problem for, for for implementing the NMP and NLP is a cache coherency. We consider this, and I will for, uh, and I will working for better this in the future works uh, that we want to 
present as a joint architecture as a NLP and NMP architecture at the same time. But I know this is a uh, most significant uh, challenges for such type of application. We will consider it in the future work and describe it with more detail. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, so let's thank our speaker. Virtual clap. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for attention and thank you for your time. Okay, thank you.